Okay, hello guys, it's BJJ Assassin here, and I just recently found um, a problem on everybody's Fortnite game, and it's that they're not using the creator code I'm McArd, so if you haven't done that already, go do that now like I'm doing, and go to his YouTube, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. If you have Twitter and Instagram, go follow them there. Peace. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Nick Ark here, welcome back to the channel, in this video I have a very important video for you guys, I'm going to be actually explaining to you how Epic Games could actually fix Fortnite, because if you guys don't know, Fortnite at the moment is in a bad state right now between gameplay wise, between statistic wise, I'll be explaining the whole entire thing in this video, going through statistics, going through game like that, everything like that, so I hope you guys do enjoy this video, if you do, let me know by dropping a like on it, and do not forget to let me know down below in the comments, how do you think Epic Games should fix Fortnite, should it be like the ballers, should it be the raver everything like that let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on this but further ado it's your winner guard let's get right into our supporter credit code shout outs so my supporter credit code shout outs in this video goes to my man Velocity, my man Iman, also shout out to my man Shadow Assault. Thank you guys so much for the credit code, I really appreciate it. If you want to be these people that I feature in future videos, all you gotta do is go to your Fortnite item shop, type in Omnic Garg, no spaces, send me a video or picture that you bought anything on Twitter, Instagram, or Discord, it'll all be linked down in the description, or at the actual item shop in general, I really appreciate it guys, you don't understand, I wanna thank you guys in every way possible for using my supporter credit code. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so at first I wasn't actually going to make this video, but then I realized I'm an Epic Games affiliate, so I have a support of Creative Code in the first place. So Epic Games is supposedly monitoring my channel, so hopefully they'll be watching this. Epic Games, if you're watching this video right now, I will not criticize your game in any way possible because one, I see a lot of other people doing it, and I don't see a point in trying to stay out for it. It's dying and everything like that, but they're just bashing the game and not trying to improve it. And also, why would I bash a game that the reason why Fortnite is here, because I have a fan base, I have 2.5k subs, so uh, why would I bash a game? Game that gave me so much benefit to MMI. So, I'll be explaining the Fortnite statistics and why it's going downhill right now. So first off, I'm going to get into the Google statistics, how many people are actually searching up Fortnite on Google, how many people are interested in Fortnite on Google, but Google isn't the actual game I know. I'm just going to show you guys it anyway, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So, as you can see, the interest over time, it slowly went up, and then it went down, went up, and went down, everything like that. But if you go to the right side of the picture, it's slowly going down, and then it went up a little bit, but then it went down again. So, less people are interested in searching it up on Google. I know it doesn't really explain a lot because it's Google. Google, why would they be searching it when it's gonna play? But it's just the interest in Google, you know what I mean? But the next thing I'll be talking about is the Twitch statistics. It doesn't really show a lot of the information that I wanted to show you guys in general, but from May through October on 2018, this was Fortnite's time, Fortnite G, everything like that. You can see the average viewers was almost over 150,000 every single month. That is insane. You can go from November to April, you can see only a couple months breaked over 150,000 average viewers per month you know what I mean that's I know it's not as bad as it was but it's slowly declining you could see the hours watched in April is only at 40 million I know April's not over yet but it's only at 40 million compared to March when it was at 101 million so that's really insane the statistics don't really show a lot about the game because a lot of people could be playing the game but not a lot of people could be watching it you know what I mean but now let's get right down for and I could actually fix their game so the first thing I'll be talking about is when I say problems with Fortnite right now, the first thing that comes to your mind is probably the revert system, match per kill, shape per kill, again, take it out of the game, but I'm going to actually teach you guys or show you guys a way that Fortnite can add their match per kill and shape per kill into the game, but make it good for both sides, the people, people that want match per kill and the people that don't want match per kill. So if you guys remember when Fortnite first added this into the game, it wasn't fully into the game, it was an LTM called Siphon. And some people like this, some people didn't like it, but the main reason why I'm bringing this up is because just say Fortnite wants to make both sides happy. They can add in a solos, duos, and squads, keep it as they are, but then add in a totally different playlist of solos, duos, and squads, but keep the Siphon game mode into the game. So the people that want to play with Siphon can play with it. People that don't want to play with Siphon can play regular pubs how it is right now. And if you get a win in this game mode, it'll just count towards your regular wins. People worried about their wins like that. So you're basically getting the best of both 
worlds, people who want to play with Siphon can play in the solo duels and squads and still get what they want, still practice, still play aggressive, everything like that. But then the people who don't want to play like that can just go in the regular squads, regular duos, regular solos, and have the equal amount of opportunity. And all Fortnite has to do is just make this into the game. So that is by far the best way they can probably handle this situation with the whole revert thing. Personally, I think that is by far the best method they can ever do for this system. It benefits both sides, like I said, but I'm not going to get too much into that. The next thing I'll be talking about is the matchmaking system in Fortnite and how it is not fair at all. What I mean by this is just say someone plays the game for an hour a day, has school, has work, something like that, that can only play for an hour or two every day. They're getting matched up against someone who grinds the game all day, goes into creative, goes into playground, one ones their friends all day, and and they're being matched up against each other and it's just not fair. So if you guys don't know, for some other games, how they are matched up against each other is by similar KDs, similar levels, similar wins, everything like that to make it fair for the whole community of that game. But just say you're that guy who plays for an hour a day, doesn't get to play that much, is not that very good at the game, and you're being matched up against people who sweat the game all day, like I said, it doesn't make you want to play the game anymore. What's the point of playing that one hour if you're just going to get like spanked the whole time by tryhards, everything like that? What's the point of playing if you're just going to get hit right by that for someone? Not every everybody wants to be a TTV, not everybody wants to be a pro player, and that is by far one of the best ways they can do it. Add in a matchmaking system that is fair for the whole community, honestly. That's how I think they should fix that. So I just heard that back over and it made it seem like I was demanding them, you have to do this, have to do that. I'm just giving suggestions, I'm not going to say you have to do anything, don't have to do anything, but that is by far one of the best ways you could probably handle the situation regarding the old matchmaking thing, because if I was that guy, like I said, playing for an hour, I wouldn't want to spend my one hour I could in between classes before work, I wouldn't want to spend that one hour in creative so I could get better at the game for the next hour, or so I could go on the pubs and get like trashed by TTVs and all that, I just wouldn't like to do that. Noah J tweeted this out on his Twitter. Twitter, he said TTVs ruined Fortnite and that's honestly true if you think about it because not everybody wants to be a competitive Fortnite player not everybody wants to be a pro Fortnite player and it's just annoying when you can't play casually anymore because you have people like that who want to play it for fun or not want to play for fun play it try hardish so I hope that sentence made sense. I'm pretty sure it did, honestly. But the next thing I'll be talking about is the ballers in competitive Fortnite. So as you guys know, ballers got added to the game a little bit ago, not that too long ago. And I personally have no problem with them, but competitive players in arena, scrims, everything like that, people have problems with ballers, and I understand them now. At first, I don't understand. I was like, dude, it's only a vehicle. What's the big deal? But people are sitting in a baller the whole entire game, waiting till late game, grabbing all the placement points, and then just dying. But they get the place of points anyway so they don't really care so i think what they should do is take ballers out of arena modes out of competitive modes and is leave them in public for the regular game modes that's what i think they should do by far if they add that it's going to be one of the best things ever it's going to make competitive players happy they're going to stay on the game because i know a lot of people are supposedly quitting after the world cup so i can't see them doing that but it's actually going to happen some people saying it's going to happen but that's all having the ball it's not going to get too much into it like i said if i was them i would take it out of the competitive Competitive game modes out of arena and just leave it for how they are right now in regular game modes I like how they deducted their 300 damage or 200 damage that really helped a lot but the next thing I'll be talking about is the actual creators and how they're not as good as people think they are and I'm not talking about gameplay wise I'm talking about people like Ghost Ninja, Pack-a-Puncher, Wispy Jimmy, people like that who just mislead their kid audience into giving them money, donating them stuff, subscribing, liking the video, everything like that. People who do live streams like Loot Lake event happening right now when it's a four hour live stream, Volcano event happening right now which by the way hasn't happened yet. People are blowing up off of this, getting millions of views off it and on top of that Ghost Ninja clickbaits every video, Pack-a-Puncher clickbaits every video, Wispy Jimmy clickbaits every video and they still have a supporter creator code. I don't understand. So I really don't understand the process between people that clickbait every video, clickbait live streams, everything like that, but Epic Games is supporting that because they have a supporter credit code. They're making thousands of dollars off that supporter credit code, and I don't understand why Epic is doing that. People have emailed Epic Games about the whole thing between Ghost Ninja and supporter credit code, and obviously they didn't take it away because he still has one, he still clickbaits, and Fortnite is okay with it. I really don't understand. 
So I'm not going to get too far into the whole clickbait situation because I'm not going to lie. When I talk about it, I get really mad. So I'm not going to talk about it that much. That's all I have for you guys in this video is letting you guys know how epic could save Fortnite. If you guys enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, make sure you drop a like on it. And let me know down below in the comments if you guys agree with me. And also, how do you think epic could save Fortnite? Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. Also, if you made it this far into the video, comment pancakes down below in the comments so I know you made it this far. It, honestly, if you made it this far, congratulations you're a legend but if you made it this far into the video and you're not subscribed yet, i don't know what you are doing make sure with that big red button there that says subscribe made it this far into the video i don't know why you won't subscribe if you made it this far into the video epic games if you're watching this somehow let me know because that's pretty insane how you're watching this but i will talk to you guys in a couple hours with the brand new stream i'll see you guys there and i can't wait peace